to the LMA managers, managers of the year has just taken place, uh, took place last night. <clears throat> And just a shout out for League 2 Manager of the Year went to John Coleman, who took Accrington Stanley to the League 2 title. Very well deserved to him. In League 1, Shrewsbury Town Manager Paul Hurst won it. He took Shrewsbury to third place in the league. And in the championship, it was won by um, Nuno Espirito Santo, who won it um, by basically beating pretty much everyone and guiding easy to the title. They finished on 90 odd points. So they had a fantastic season. And in the Premier League, the right thing prevailed here. And Manchester City boss Pep Guardiola was named League Managers Association Manager of the Year. Uh, so Basically, Guardiola basically beat the likes of Roy Hodgson, Rafa Benitez, Houghton, Wagner, and of course, Sean Dyche to the title. Um, so basically, at this point, I feel that they had no other choice but to go with Pep. Um, he's, he's broken every single record. Broken every record. Smashed every record. And... At that point, you don't really. You can't beat that. You 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 can't get better than that. It's the best season, maybe of all time. Sean Dyche has done a brilliant job. Don't get me wrong. I am the biggest advocate you'll find of people who have overachieved like that should be manager of the year. I was all for Paul Hurst getting manager of the year in League One because he's done an incredible job. You know, he's taken Shrewsbury Town, who were meant to, you know, be relegated to the playoff final. Um, so I am a big advocate of just because you win the league, it doesn't mean you should be manager of the year because it doesn't work like that. Um, but Pep Guardiola has battered every single thing in front of him and his side has been the best in the league this season by a country mile by a country mile it goes to show that it doesn't matter who you are you will always be voted for this so I think in England as a whole, we like, really like the underdog. That is why Neil Warnock won um, league, the Championship Manager of the Year, sort of voted by the, the other managers in the league. We like the underdog, and we always have. That's why everyone celebrated when Leicester won the title. You know, and there are so many different candidates for that manager of the year. Bearing in mind, all three clubs that came up stayed up. Uh, Newcastle stayed up, who won the league last year. Uh, they did it on a budget, and I mean on a budget. Uh, it was so tight there, they spent hardly anything. Uh, Chris Hewton is in Brighton's first season. Took them to mid table ish, done brilliantly. Huddersfield. Fantastic. Um, Burnley, unbelievable. And I think in any other season, probably besides besides a couple, he would have won Manager of the Year, Sean Dyche. Because it's incredible. The only seasons I don't think he, should, he would have won it, Claudio Ranieri winning the title with Leicester, and of course the Invincibles. Maybe 99 uh, when, or 2008 when United won the Champions League. But certainly, certainly it, um, it, it goes to show that, you know, there are so many different options. Roy Hodgson, uh, he's, he's done well. And it doesn't matter where you finish in the league. If you have a good season, people will put your name in the ring. 
and it'll be the same next season. And next season, if City win the league and win it by I don't know, a couple of points and and that, and Burnley or a, just say for example Brighton got into Europe, you'd be like Brighton, you know, Chris Hewton, manager of the year, and, for, and rightly so because it doesn't manager of the year isn't the manager who wins the title. Um, I'm a Hereford fan, as some of you know, and when we went up from League. Two, Paul Ince was manager of uh, Milton Keynes Doms and they won the title and they also won the Johnson Paints Trophy uh, as it was then which is now the Czech Trophy and he didn't win manager of the year that went to Graham Turner, Hereford's manager Hereford had one of the smallest budgets in the league and they were predicted to finish bottom of the league and they finished third place and we went up automatically and it's it's right to give it to someone who has, you know, really taken a side like that and done something completely different. Every manager that wins a league has done exceptional. But that doesn't necessarily mean all the time they've done the best. Um, like I say, I think in most seasons, Sean Dyche would have won it. But, but this side are... A, have have just completely obliterated anything we've seen before. You can't finish a hundred points in a thirty-eight game season and not win Manager of the Year. You can't because it's just been exceptional. Um, I'm glad he won it. I think this was the right decision. I was a little bit concerned that Dyche would win it. Um, I don't think that that would be the right call. Pep Guardiola has done something absolutely amazing. And it's probably more amazing than Burnley. Because there are a lot of crap teams in the league this season. So, yeah, he's, he's some fantastic, don't get me wrong. But Pep Guardiola's team's been on another level this season. And I'm glad he won Manager of the Year. Uh, just a couple of other things. The Women's Super League League One Manager of the Year was won by Emma Hayes of Chelsea. And Super League Two was won by Lee Burge, who is manager of Millwall. So Warnock was presented with the special achievement after securing his eighth promotion. While uh, <laughs> under pressure and now sack manager, um, Sam Allais was inducted to the LMA's Hall of Fame. So huge congratulations to Pep Guardiola for winning that, as well as the other managers who's won it, which is uh, Emma Hayes, Lee Birch, um, and then there was Neil Warnock won the special recognition, Sam Allardyce Hall of Fame, and then League Two was John Coleman, League One was Paul Hurst, Championship was Nuno Santo. Uh, so congratulations to them. Do you think this was the right decision, or do you think that Sean Dye should have won it? Let me know your reasoning down below if you disagree. Uh, thank you so much for watching the video. I am Mike, and I will see you soon. Well done for completing another video with me, and thank you so much for watching. Uh, on this screen, you will see the best football lists. Uh, there are so many different ones, uh, definitely worth a check out. And my most recent upload, as well as subscribe to my channel. Thank you.